issue to come up when we get to the next government funding bill. The president wants this money for the wall. So, Congress controls, the, the, has the power of the purse. Do they want to put all this money aside that we don't have for a wall that a lot of members of Congress might not think is the best use of that money? You've got members of Congress from Texas not really on board with this. You've got the senators from Texas not really on board with this, and that's where most of that would be. The, the idea of eminent domain and of the land and all of this, but the, the money comes first. And when you talk to members of Congress privately, they will tell you that they're not really excited about <coughs> this money. So that should, it could be a big showdown. Again, going back to that Freedom Caucus, the Freedom Caucus is always the wild card. The Freedom Caucus, they are not really excited about paying for this either. They don't like to pay for anything, but they really don't want to pay for this because this wasn't their idea. Okay? This is something that, you know, don't, they don't want anything to be pushed on them because they do have that strong voting block. They don't think they have to do whatever they don't want to do. They're kind of right. But President Trump was not able to talk them into supporting this health care bill. He, he can talk them into supporting money for a wall when they might not be hearing about that as much as from their constituents anymore. I don't know, we'll see. Again, that could change tomorrow because everything changes. So I heard something on the news a few weeks ago. Somebody said, stop the news, I wanna get off. And I said, I wanna get off too. Because there's just so much, there's so much news out there and there's so many different competing um, messages coming out of DC, even from the administration itself. So the wall will, um, I, I personally think it'll be a big battle. I mean, it could be just a big nothing, but we'll, we'll find out. I 